What's up, guys? Sam so back, and I'm back reviewing the last two, at least as far as I know, the last two sets from the TMNT versus Cobra Kai figures by Playmates. I already reviewed the other two figures, the Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso with Donnie and Mikey two packs. We'll, we'll show them at the end of the video. But now, I, you know, I, I just talked about how bad those figures were, but I had to get this because I'm a completist and I love the turtles. So I, ha I had to get it. And plus, I had to review it for you guys because if you guys were wondering how bad these figures are or how good they are. And I'll tell you this right now. The likenesses for John Kreese and jo Cholo, Blue Beetle, Mr. Blue Beetle over here, Miguel Diaz, they look pretty good. So we have the package in here. And I, let me tell you something. I love the box, the artwork on these. I love the colors. I love the black and the uh, the yellow or gold. It's kind of it's the Cobra Kai colors. And then with the turtles mixed in there. And then the silhouette or the, the artwork here almost looks like silhouette-ish of the turtles there. So here is the back right here with the artwork on all of the characters. I love the packaging on here. And then Raphael with John Kreese here. So we're going to open these up. We're going to see how good these really are. And then we're just going to we're going to determine. We're going to see if it's a pickup or a pass. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about the weapons for the turtles. So the only weapons you get, I mean, obviously for the turtles, Leonardo does come with black katana swords. And I do like these. I like that they're black. Uh, they're just all painted black. So you have that. And then Raphael, same thing, comes with some black size. So you do get those. No bases, no anything else. Uh, the Cobra Kai characters don't come with any type of of weapons so we'll go over the turtles really quick because again these are straight reissues they've released these figures from the 2012 classic line i think like five or six times so the only thing that's new other than the 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 paint job that they have on the bandanas the elbow pads and then they, you know the way you can tell about the you know which turtles which is they gave them blue coloring bands so this is obviously Leonardo and then his gi has a turtle right there with the blue emblem this is all cloth underneath it's the usual TMNT classic figure so you can take this off if you really wanted to but why would you and then the back he does have his sheaths and then he's got the emblem right there as well and you know the black uh, pads so it's pretty much again same same turtle they just switched around the coloring on them and then the same thing goes with Raphael my favorite turtle I'm named after him so he's got the red gi there or the red the normal gi that all the turtles have and then the red uh turtle same thing with the back and then he's got the black elbow pads, the black bandana, black knee pads, and then the red bands here. That's so you can tell what, what turtle's what. And I don't think he has anywhere you can hold his, uh, for the sheath for his size. But the turtles are exactly the same. So we'll move them aside. And then, okay, so first we'll look at John Kreese. And it's not a bad head sculpt. I don't know why they got Johnny LaRusso, Johnny, La yeah, Johnny LaRusso so bad, but... John Kreese actually looks really good. You cannot deny it. He looks just like the, the actor. The gi, this is soft goods right here in the gi. The top part, soft rubber. And then you have his tattoo on the side. Look how cool that is that they added that tattoo there. The Cobra. Freaking awesome. And then you have the Cobra right here, Cobra Kai in the back. No other tattoos. And then the pants are all sculpted. He's barefoot. No peg holes at the bottom. Um, same articulation as the other. They have the toe articulation. So it's the same exact articulation as the other um, the other uh, uh, two packs. And then, so we have Johnny there. Not Johnny. I'm going to get confused with all these names. Um, you have Crease there. And then we have Cholo, Miguel Diaz. So this actually is a pretty decent head sculpt for Miguel Diaz as well. It doesn't look that bad. And then he's got the gi with the yellow here. The emblem right there in the, uh, in the chest area. Soft goods. Yellow going all the way down, the black belt, and then you have the Cobra Kai logo there, and the black pants, and he is barefoot. Again, same type of articulation as the other ones. Uh, the hair on him actually looks really good because this is the exact hairstyle that he has. Look at this arm articulation. Look at this. I don't remember him doing that on the show. And then I've mentioned this before on the previous figures. I don't like how they sculpted this, this, the uh, lower part of the arms, it looks like these are supposed to be sleeves. That they just they, like reuse these bodies and just painted them a skin color. Uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like that with John Kreese. Like he doesn't have that, but Miguel has that, and I think Johnny also has it as well. But I don't know why they use these, man. Why couldn't they just use the same arms, arms that they use for? For Kreese, I, I have no idea, but the figures themselves look pretty good. Okay, so here we have all of the Cobra Kai characters, and let me tell you this. Johnny Lawrence and Ralph Macchio, Danny LaRusso, 
horrendous. And when I mean horrendous, these are terrible head sculpts. They look nothing like the actors. And Ralph Macchio over here has like this weird mustache on. Look, I don't, he looks freaking weird. And then this guy, I don't know what's going on with this guy, Johnny Lawrence over here, but Crease and Miguel look really good. So I just don't understand why they messed up on Lawrence and LaRusso. And then why we couldn't get the same arms as Crease has. Why didn't they use those for Miguel and for Johnny Lawrence? They have those sleeve arms painted the you know skin tone color. I don't know. But these are the ninjas right here, guys. I just realized I called the Cobra Kai characters ninjas. But here is the Ninja Turtles. Here's all of them right here. Again, reused figures, just painted a little bit differently, and they have geese on. So you pretty much know what you're getting with these with these characters. And there you have it, guys. There's my review at the brand new Playmates 2 packs. Cobra Kai versus TMNT. The new ones that we're looking at today is Raphael versus John Kreese and uh, Leonardo versus Miguel Diaz. The first wave of these guys are horrendous as far as the Cobra Kai characters go. Second wave, they really did improve for the most part. Um, so this is not going to be for everybody. If you guys are just looking for Cobra Kai figures, good ones, your best bet is going to Icon Heroes. They have some awesome Cobra Kai and Karate Kid figures. But if you're looking for something that's in retail, you're going to find at Target or something, then you're going to want these. These are priced at, I believe, $39.99. And I mean, if you're just a turtle collector like I am, you're going to pick these up regardless. So let me know your thoughts down below. Is the second wave or the second sets a big improvement on the head sculpts? Did you guys pick any of this up? Does your Johnny LaRusso have this weird freaking mustache? I mean, look at this. Does he have that? Do you see that? the heck is going on there but let me know in the comments down below guys if this is a pickup or a pass i would like to see a comic book based off of this unless they already did one i don't know i am a fan of the cobra kai show it's like completely outrageous but it's a great show so let me know your thoughts down below if it's a pickup or a pass let me know your thoughts we'll see you soon later guys